Hey guys, in this video I'm continuing the best settings for series and this time we're talking about Agility Rider. I will share my personal settings to get a better output from Agility Rider and rank higher on Google. Before we start, if you go to Rider Watch AI, which is my AI Rider dedicated directory, you will see that Agility Rider is currently number one. And so this is based on a 100% objective ranking because there is no bias in here. All of the components behind this rating are objective. For those of you who have not subscribed, if you do subscribe to a writer watch newsletter not only do you get article samples but you will also get my outline genius dvd which is a paid product and weekly copywriting tips and tricks so let's get started so once you arrive to agility writer you will be bombarded with a lot of options and settings but we will in this video talk primarily about advanced mode article which i think is the most important one of all it's a happy medium between the one click and the optimized mode and has a lot of fine tuning that can be applied for better results. So let's get started. Let's choose the same keyword as in my SEO writing video, which is does Agility Writer pass AI detection? Let's get an article title. And as you can see, Agility Writer is guilty of the same problem as SEO writing. It rephrases the main keyword and I don't like that. So I will default this to the original keyword does Agility Writer pass AI detection systems. And let's make it in 2024 because we can change it later, no problem. And straight up, what I want to do is go to my project and choose demo. I have a video on my YouTube channel on how to connect Agility Writer with Neuron Writer. And this is what you have to do to keep benefiting from that integration. So I'm choosing demo. Then you have two options here. You can either create a new query like so, and you hit create. And this will start a new query in Neuron Writer, but I've already done that. So all I need to do is to get this ID here, paste it here and click on get recommendations. As you can see, my keyword window is empty. That after the get recommendations, it's now populated with relevant keywords straight from NeuroWriter. Now what I usually do is I apply smart defaults and you can actually use this as is. Language is American English, article length is auto, uh, which is my preferred setting. It will look at the SERPs to define the word count. Article structure is advanced, standard. And again, what I like about Agility is that they have this kind of glossary for every setting here. So you can read that advanced standard is when AI decides the article's length and format. Now for the AI model, uh, be mindful of that GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo will give you a better SEO optimization score, but I've been using Claw 3.5 Sonnet almost exclusively now, so I will choose that. Factual data audience tone of voice and point of view, auto auto. Maybe I'll just switch to first person because I like doing that. Now introduction style and conclusion style I'll leave at concise because I do feel like introductions and conclusions with some AI writers they're just enormous and full of fluff. Now for readability level, seventh grade is okay, but but I'd like you to pay attention to this here, which is select fifth grade to increase the likelihood of bypassing AI detection. And I can confirm that with my testing. If you choose the fifth grade, doesn't uh, flow as well and doesn't work uh, well for some technical niches, but it will bypass AI detection better. And I think that self grade is a happy medium. Now, when it comes to writing style, uh, I usually choose between the three options. I like the default one, which is precision plus semantic triples. Once again, if you're unsure what the style is, you can just click on this help button or question icon and you see that precision plus semantic triples enhance precision optimization writing style by structuring sentences with semantic triples. I like this one. One of my favorites is Unfluff Pro 1 and Authoritative. That's again a read from the glossary. Unfluff 1 plus Authoritative for concise writing styles focus on enriching text with facts and reducing fluff. This option reduces up to 27% of the word count compared to the others. And this is important, so it will give you a more concise output. And my second preferred writing style is my own. So this is Vlad. And this is extremely easy to do. All you do is go to Settings, Writing Styles, New Writing style and you basically fit a sample of your writing style, name it, and this is how you get your own writing style. Uh, in my case, I just fed uh, one of the YouTube videos that I thought was a pretty good example of how I'm talking in my real life. Okay. Factual data sources, I usually leave this as is. Please enter up to three URLs or leave it empty and let the system auto pick from the top search results. So unless you know for certain that only like three URLs from the SERPs address the search intent and the other seven are irrelevant, uh, choose this option here. 
Okay, before generating an outline, I usually go to custom instructions and I'm not interested in custom knowledge. If you're talking about your company or your firm or your own experience, unique research, you should be including some information here. Nor am I interested in writing instructions because some of them are already inbuilt into the custom writing styles. I usually choose the custom outline and um, this is very interesting. So you have an instruction type of command that applies to the outline as a whole, like exclude h3 headings more h2 headings then you have a fixed template and a dynamic template so fixed template this is i believe one of my examples scan oxid bananas basically it will treat bananas as a seed keyword and if you are writing in bulk it will substitute bananas to pizzas bread pastas cheese but it will keep uh, the outline as is and this is very important for programmatic seo so this is one of the few a writers that does programmatic SEO without any problem. The dynamic template is basically the same as fixed, but it will look at the SERPs as well and complement your fixed outline with some new information and potentially some new subheadings. For the custom instructions, I'm using a very simple prompt. Make sure the second H2, which is usually the one after the heading, if you're not purposefully deleting the introductions from your outline, make sure the second H2 is the same as the main keyword. That you usually ensures that your article addresses the search intent early on and addresses the search intent fully. Then I can create my outline finally. Okay, so this is the article outline that I've got. And as you can see, the second H2 actually addresses the search intent. It does usually see right passing a detection. Now you have a few options. You can change between different outlines. You can uh, also watch my SEO writing best settings for SEO writing video and challenge this outline using the O1 preview. But I find that with the Agility Writer, the outlines are pretty good because they are already a combination of the SERPs and the AI prompts. Next up, advanced settings. I usually leave YouTube videos in and then shout out posts. Uh, you can choose that. This is where uh, the syndication takes place similar to SEO writing. I go exclude quotes, disable transitions, disable transition between headings in an article. Our system will not use sentences that smooth, smoothly link one part of the article to the next. Making each section stand on its own. I don't really have an opinion on that. You can either disable it or enable. It doesn't make much difference to me. I for sure use internal links and authority links. I don't do FAQs for the same reason I explained in my SEO writing video. I do choose negative terms because they make the A detection better and key takeaways, I always leave them in. So let's just paste in some of the internal links. Next up are the images. So I usually leave everything as default. I've been playing around with the text overlay lately, but since I'm using my custom images most of the time, it doesn't really matter. And I may as well choose none for the images. Now for the publishing settings, same as with SEO writing, I use post, then publish status draft, and make sure that the correct category is chosen. And yeah, that's it. All we have to do is add to writing queue, and then we will evaluate the quality of the output. So okay, our article is ready. Let's take a look. Copy the article, paste it here. We can see a very short conclusion, a helpful table, a list, another list. Oh, and this is the image overlay. So everything is spelled correctly. Does the GLT writer pass it as action in 2024? The SEO score is 62, so less than SEO writing, but the article looks very neat with lots of helpful information. And I'm the only affiliate who can give you 15% off. So apply the VAS15 code for 15% off. Then let's check with Hemingway. And Hemingway says it's grade seven. That's what we used in our settings. And finally, for the zero GPT test. And it says that this text is roughly 93, 94% human and this may be something to do with my custom style that I chose. The writing style that I chose was based on my personal YouTube channel and once again before we go go check out writerwatch.ai join the newsletter check out the reviews play around with the features this is the only directory that allows you to sort by a feature and yeah hope this was helpful I love you guys I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time. Cheers.